Hello, my loves. You got Joanne and Elizabeth here with World's Cup of Joe. Awaken your soul. If you are new to this channel, welcome. This is a sacred, beautiful place for you to get deeper in your twin flame journey, twin flame connection, and get these truths. So if you're new, make sure you hit subscribe. And Elizabeth got me in today because we're getting deep with these twin flame uh, combos and we just want you to shift with us. Go ahead, love. So Joanne, how do you get the runner, AKA divine masculine, AKA pole twin to stop running? So first and foremost, when the runner is running <laughs> the runner is pulling the energy has changed and it's shifted so let me get back to why it's shifted so when you were in the bubble face in your twin flame connection you were both able to stay in this bubble face of being in the same energy and it was amazing and it was out of this world and then soul recognized itself into the two in the two bodies and you became cray cray there was this activation of push and when you are activated and push in mind the activation of pull is what occurs this is simply what happens with the energy the cool part of this journey is when you can find your way back to pulling your energy back, because it's one, one energy system, right? This is one soul energy. You can pull your energy back to you. And we'll add a link on how to do that. <laughs> it's a process. Um, pull your energy back to you. You bring it back to you. And then you can draw your twin flame back to you. Because what happened is when they're pulling, when they're running, you've pushed the energy out to them. When your mind goes to them and you're sending them your thoughts, your emotional energy, anything in the lower scale of consciousness, right? So there's jealousy, anger, anything below, desire, desire, oh, so hard, desire, anything below neutrality is energy that you push out will get them to pull. So kind of think of it like, I wish I could put my phone down, but think of it like when you push it's the same energy system they're pulling. It's the same energy system. You push and they're also pulling in that same amount. Now you pull that energy back. And now you're drawing in your twin flame back to you. It's energy playing. And when you are able to get into the energetic space back into soul, where you were in that bubble phase where it was just pure presence, but you were able to be in mind. That's why it's so confusing. Like, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Why did they run? And, and you kind of like put a microscope into that last moment where they were able to still be in your space. Like, was it something I said? Was it something I did? Was it something that happened that I could prevent? And now that you know it was just energy, it was you no longer focusing on you. Your energy pushed so much that you made the focus on them. And this is why twin flames can come back and leave, come back and leave. You are able to pull your energy back to you. You made it all about you. And then here comes your twin flame and you forgot what this journey is all about. You forgot that this journey is about you. It wasn't about your twin flame. They're the catalyst for you getting deeper in yourself, but you don't forget to keep going and <laughs> making it about you. And that's what happens is you pull that energy in and you draw your twin flame back. But when they come back, 
you stay in that energy. You stay in that energy of pulling your energy back to you and making it about you. And they keep coming. So if they ghosted, they're gone. You go deep within yourself, love. You detox from the addictive energy. You get deep in soul. You have to make it about you. If you need help with this, we will add a link of our website. Look for our Soul's Plan Twin Flame Coaching Program. Got to work on detoxing from the addictive energy. The mode has now changed to where it's past the bubble face. And what you're focusing on, on what they're doing, thinking, feeling, because they've ghosted and they, they ran, you're giving more energy for them to keep pulling. Pull the energy, bring it back to you and watch your twin flame come back to you. It's so, so magical. It's magnetic. What do you think, love? You just said right at the end, exactly what I was going to say. So the dynamic of what makes them run is when your mind is constantly, what are they thinking about right now? I wonder what they're doing right now. I wonder who they're with. I wonder what they've been talking about. I wonder how they're feeling. Do they still think about me? When the focus is all on what they are thinking, doing, and feeling exactly what you said, Joanne, that's the energy that keeps them pulling because notice that everything is about them. All those thoughts, all those wonderings, all of that energy is pushing, 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 pushing. And like you showed with that little hand diagram, whatever's pushing that way, they're going in that same direction. They're not coming to you. They're going away. But when you turn that focus around, so let's say you catch your mind. I wonder what he's thinking. I wonder, I wonder what they're doing today. When you change that, okay, they're not in my present moment. So I'm going to consciously change this thought because they are not here. I'm going to be present with this moment. What do I want to do today? What sounds like a good thing for me to do? How, how am I going to feel good today? Is it going to be reading a book? Is it going to be taking a walk? Is it going to be calling a friend? What's going to make me feel really good today? Now notice that dynamic, notice that shift in the focus first being all on them to then intentionally bringing it back to how am I going to feel good? How am I going to enjoy my day? How am I going to be present with this now moment? Suddenly the energy is now on yourself and that's the energy. I'm focusing it on me, focusing it on me, focusing on me. That's where they can start being drawn back in. And that's why you get the calls. That's why you get the text messages. The key is like you said, Joanne, to keep them from start running. Don't shift that attention back to, oh, I just said this to them. I wonder if they took it. Okay. I wonder if they got upset about that. I wonder if they got mad about that saying, Ooh, I wonder if they liked what I just said. I wonder if they're going to call me. Do you see the dynamic changes with that energy? And that's the energy they can't handle. They can't handle the focus being on them. They don't want it on them. They want it on you. They want you to always keep the focus on you. And this is why we've said in many, many videos, you cannot push If you're choosing you, even if that means, let's say your person calls and it's like, Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Would you want to get together for coffee? And let's say you have other plans. No, I'm sorry. I have other plans right now that will never push because you're choosing to honor yourself and what you already were going to do. And you didn't stop to make it about them. It'll never push. They'll call again. They'll reach back out. They'll want to make another day that they can see you. So many times we, as the positive polarities, we get so enraptured in that energy. They call me, oh my gosh, they want to see me. I'm going to stop everything that I'm doing. I'm going to change my plans for them. That's going to make them want me. They're going to see that I'm devoted to them. The wrong energy. Mm-hmm. It's the wrong. That's the energy of desire. That's the energy of neediness. And that's the energy that makes them go ahead and ghost again. Mm-hmm. So, hey. What do I want to do right now? I'm going to make sure I'm thinking about me. I'm focused on me and I'm staying present in this moment, which is just me. I'm the only one here. So that's all I'm going to focus on. And that's the energy where the runner stops running. Love you guys. We hope you have an amazing, amazing day. Love you. Bye, love. Bye.